Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lake TV's coverage of live high school basketball. We're back here in beautiful Eldon, Missouri, where the home team Mustangs, they play host to the talented and very, very fast Fulton Hornets. I'm William Holtz alongside the great Chris Schneider. It's your Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. Tonight, Chris, we got two teams heading in different directions. One team really in the rebuild phase when we talk about Eldon. And when you look at Fulton, although they are young, this team has deep playoff run aspirations. Oh, man, this team is really, really good. They're their whole starting five are sophomores. Wild. It's, it's crazy. pretty amazing, and they're really good sophomores. They lost a close game to Southern Boone earlier this year. They came back a couple weeks later and beat them by 16. Right. Southern Boone, and they're really good. So yeah. this could be ugly tonight. But then again, you know, every time you count Eldon out, they fight hard. They really are a scrappy team. And uh, we can ho we'll hope they'll hang in there tonight. Yeah, and Eldon actually going to get a couple of their key components back tonight. Should be a huge boost for the Mustangs. On tonight's Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show, Chris is going to talk with both teams' head coaches. We'll spotlight one player from each team that we expect to have a huge role in tonight's contest. That and a whole lot more when we return to the COMC pregame show. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. That's what you'll find at Eldon Furniture. John Kane with Eldon Furniture. The new year's here. We've completed inventory and found closeouts and discontinued items with new merchandise on the way. You'll find great savings in every department. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. Our resolution is to make you comfortable in a room that's affordable. Eldon Furniture. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. And we are back. It's your Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show live on Lake TV. And Chris, we're going to get right into it. Eldon, they come in with a record of 3-10, and 10, but they're going to get a couple of their key players back tonight. What can you tell us about Coach, Coach Corey Casey and the Eldon Mustangs? Well, I tell you what, we've actually, this is, the, I think, the third game of the Mustangs we've done on Lake TV this year. They've all been pretty good games. Every, every game you see a whole lot of fight, a whole yeah. lot of scrappiness out of the Mustangs. Uh, and and they, they seem to stay close. They just can't get over the hump. The last game out, they played a really good game against yeah. Tipton. Really could have won that game. But they couldn't figure out how to get over the hump yeah. and, and get it done. So uh, tonight, boy, I tell you what, if they can pull off an upset tonight, that would be an upset. That's for sure. Yeah, and for people watching, don't be confused that we don't love Coach Corey Casey and the Eldon Mustangs when we talk about their opponent tonight, when we say it could get ugly. No disrespect to the Eldon Mustangs, but when we get later in the pregame show, we're going to tell you about this Fulton team and why we're so high on them. But before we do that, Chris, for Eldon, not only do they have a really, really great stud that leads this team, but they're going to get a couple key players back. So first, let's talk about the spotlight player of the game. Yeah, it's got to be Aiden Wells. Keep an eye on this kid. He is a senior forward, number 24. And uh, every game that we've seen Eldon play, he's led the way. He's, he's the stud. He averages 21 points a game. He averages almost 12 rebounds a game, two assists, and uh, uh, what, uh, steal and a half a game. So he does a little bit of everything. He really likes to shoot the ball. And usually uh, he hits the last time out. He was so good, he was pretty much a one-man show, and finally Tipton put three guys on him and shut him down. Yeah, and Aiden Wells, he does it all, and sometimes he's even asked to do a little too much. And luckily for him tonight, he's going to get the services back of senior Kyler Rush, who's been out of the lineup and really the top six man for the Mustangs. Devin Wardenberg, he'll be back, so a couple of huge boosts. But really tonight, you can't ask Aiden Wells to do it all. A team like Fulton, they're going to be able to stop 
a key player like him. And so what I want to see tonight are guys like Kyla Rush, who's back in the lineup. He's got to step up and make some big shots. Hunter Hess, the freshman, and another freshman we're going to call upon is Nathan Reynolds. Two players very capable, even as freshmen. We've seen them do some special things. They have to have more of a role, and I don't know if it's them being more confident or head coach Corey Casey putting them in a position and calling upon them. But if you do that, it's going to free up Aiden Wells to do what he does so good, and that's have that assassin's mentality and really put the team on his back. Chris, we're talking about head coach Corey Casey, the second year head coach for the Eldon Mustangs, really looking to turn this program around. And you actually talked with him just a little bit ago. So coach, it looks like you guys really have your hands full tonight. This is a pretty good Fulton team. Yes, sir, they're, they're pretty talented. They got a lot of size and got a lot of athletes. And they're young too. I mean, I think the starting lineup is all sophomores. I think you're correct, yes. So they've got a bright future ahead of them. <laughs> They sure do. So do you guys, though. I mean, a lot of young talent that is really coming on, playing well. You've got to be pleased with how hard your team is playing. I am. I am. We Since Christmas, we've really been fighting hard. We've tried to fight hard all year, but since Christmas, the light bulb's been clicking a little bit. And, uh, you know, we've been in every game. We've fought hard every game. And uh, we've just – the execution thing down the stretch is something that we're working on. But we're young, and, and uh, you know, young guys make young mistakes. So um, – we're learning to live with that, but yet try to work ourselves out of that. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with the progress that we're making. So. Yeah, absolutely. And the good news is you're starting to get some guys coming back now. We are. We have our full roster back tonight. So for the first time since before Christmas. So that'll be nice. It'll be nice. So what's the game plan against this really good team tonight? The game plan against this team is to try to get a shot off before uh, we turn it over. <laughs> Uh, you know, they're long, they're athletic, they move well, so we're going to try to run our offense, our transition offense, and, and get shots off before we, uh, you know, before they can clamp down on us defensively. Yeah, and they're pretty good on offense, too. How do you go against that? Well, we're, you know, we, we can't really match up man with them, so we're going to have to stick in our zone and move well out of it and uh, get a hand up on their shooters and, you know, hit the, hit the, hit the box out really well because they're big and strong, so. We're going to give it our best. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. So there's head coach Corey Casey with the Ellen Mustangs. And for him and his young team, there's nothing to lose tonight. Come out and give it your all. And they got a lot to be excited about under the second year impressive head coach Corey Casey. So when we come back on tonight's Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show, Chris is going to talk with head coach of the Fulton Hornets, and we're going to talk about a young man that may be one of the top underclassmen in the state of Missouri. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. And we welcome you back right here from Eldon, Missouri. We're live on Lake TV for our game of the week, and it's the Eldon Mustangs playing host to the Fulton Hornets. And Chris, and we started doing our preparations for tonight's game. You look at this Fulton team, and you might look at the roster and say, man, they're so young, they have to be in the rebuilding phase. That is not the case. No, not at all, man. This might be one of the best teams you see all year. The starting five are all sophomores. That means the next two years, this Fulton team has a chance to go deep into the playoffs and maybe even win a state championship. That's the kind of aspirations that I have when I look at this team. I saw some footage on Huddle. I was reading some articles even back to last year as Justin Gilmore's team started to come about under his system. And I was like, they got to be crazy good. And it starts with their sophomore sensation. I'm telling you what, tonight's spotlight player of the game presented by Arrow Point Solar, and he's incredible. Cortland Simmons, the sophomore guard, he does it all. You see it right there on our screen, nearly 15 points a game, eight rebounds a game, five and a half dimes. He has over three steals a game. He leads the team in all of those categories, but wait, Chris, he also <laughs> carries a 3.9 GPA, and he is fresh off the California tournament. 
MVP, so he's got some confidence, and his team's riding a three-game winning streak. They're sitting at 7-2, and two, and you said earlier that they had that late loss. Well, they've only lost two games this year, Mexico and Southern Boone, and both of those games were in overtime. Yeah. They haven't lost in regulation, and their head coach, Justin Gilmore, really feels like they're hitting their stride, they're healthy, they've got their starters on the floor, and they've got a deep bench as well. And Justin Gilmore, it's his sixth year, and they love him in Fulton. Back in 2018, Chris, he ended a 31-year drought where they had not won a conference title. Back in 2018, they say goodbye to that streak, and Justin Gilmore at the helm has the Fulton Hornets cooking, and you talked to them just a little bit ago. So, Coach, you got quite a talented young team this year. Where'd you find these guys? Oh, I don't know where they come from. Um, we're just really lucky and blessed to have – the team that we do, we have three really, really good seniors that kind of anchor us and lead us. Then we have six sophomores, um, five of them start, and then we have a freshman that comes off our bench too. So um, we kind of spread it out, um, but um, we have a super talented young and old team. You heard that right, five starting sophomores, which is pretty good. That's why he's got that smile on his face. And you guys are hot too, seven and two, and you come off a championship, I think, at the California tournament. Yeah, we played really good in California. Um, there's a lot of good teams down in California. Our guys just came out and played really strong defense. Um, we are a very athletic team, and when they decide to play defense, they can be really good. It's just a hard time kind of getting it out of them. And they've kind of started buying in, and it's really paid off for us lately. So what is the game plan against this uh, Eldon team tonight? Defense again, we just keep preaching defense to these guys and they keep answering the bell. Um, Eldon plays super hard and super aggressive. We're going to have to keep them off the boards. I'm um, going to have to stop them inside. I think if we can do that, we got a good chance tonight. Has the COVID thing affected you guys much this year? Uh, we had a starter out for a little bit. I was out for about 10 days, so I missed a couple games. Um, so I would say, yeah, maybe a little bit, but we're fighting it and we're doing the best we can. So. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. So that is head coach Justin Gilmore with the Fulton Hornets, and you can kind of get the sense that he knows how yeah. good his team is. So we told you about the hometown Eldon Mustangs, a lot to be excited about. We told you about the visiting Fulton Hornets with state championship aspirations. Of course, don't ask the good folks in Fulton about that. Mm. They won't tell you that, but I'm telling you, this team is that good. So that will conclude tonight's Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. Now we bring you the Eldon Jazz Band rendition of our national anthem. tell you what, the Eldon Jazz Band, as good as it gets. These guys are as cool as the other side of the pillow. I could listen to them all day long, Chris, and this is three games this year, only the second we've been treated to the wonderful talents from the Eldon Jazz Band. And it goes all the way back to the 70s and 80s under band director Rex McCarger, who was a longtime band director here in Eldon, built a great tradition. And this is the way the Eldon Jazz Band performs. And honestly, this may be the best I've ever heard them over the last couple of games. Their greatness, man. Every game we've been here, they have just been fantastic.
So before we get to meet tonight's starters, Chris, tonight's game brought to you by our fine sponsors. And it's, I guess, before we tell you about that, we do want you to hear tonight's starters because on both sides, got some incredible players. At guard, a sophomore, number three, Donovan Weigel. At guard, a sophomore, number 11, Clayton Simmons. At guard, a sophomore, number 24, Josh Reeves. And at forward, a sophomore, number 40, Colby Lancaster. The Hornets are coached by Justin Gillimore. And now the starting lineup for your Elden Mustangs. Record, six more freshman, number five, Hunter Hess. Record, five, eleven, sophomore, number 12, Kaysen Bayshore. At forward, six, three, sophomore, number 15, Austin Rush. At forward, a six foot senior, number 23, PJ Bledsoe. And at forward, a six four senior, number 24, Aiden Wells. The Mustangs are coached by Cody Casey. And that is the voice of longtime public address announcer, Dave Heron here with the District of Eldon. He was my social studies teacher really? a long time ago, and he's been doing this for over 30 years. I think he's been doing this for 32 years wow. at football and basketball That's older games. than I am. All right, so <laughs> after our Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show, it is time for some basketball. Our tip controlled by Fulton, and here's our first look as Fulton wastes no time getting it into the front court, and there is Simmons now gives it to Weigel and gets it back. That's gonna be a tall task for Hunter Hess, the freshman on Simmons tonight. It's hard to see those Fulton numbers too. It might be a tall task for us to know who scored. There's Simmons now with the drive, pulled down on the offensive end and put back. That's Josh Reams, the sophomore, and it's Fulton with the offensive put back. Yeah, the uh, Mustangs cannot afford to give away points like that. Here's a three-point attempt just off the mark for Eldon. That was Kaysen Bayshore, and that's gonna be pulled down now and brought back for Fulton. Here's a three-point attempt on the other end, and that's good, don't blink, because once again, Reams splashes that home, and Fulton off to a quick five-nothing lead. Wow, inside and outside for Mr. Reams. Hess now over to Wells for the Mustangs. Back to Hunter Hess. They'll play keep away. Here's Wells from way back, and he hits it. Aiden Wells with the tray. How about the answer from the senior? Nice shot. Wow, that was a long one. Back door, and once again, it's Reams on a beautiful dish from Simmons. Nice job at Fulton. That was easy. Yeah. Here comes easy. Eldon now. That's the freshman. Elvin now, they're gonna stay spaced out. Fulton is just fine with that. Hess now, that one's deflected. Wells will contain it over in the corner. And there's Rush, back to Wells, who almost pulled up from way back. <laughs> Hunter Hess back to Wells. He will pull that one yep. just off the mark and add a bounce as Wells, a little overzealous, and Fulton takes back over. And I'm almost okay with that, Chris, as you get another look, because he is your scorer, and if you have the shot and you can hit from that distance, as Wells has shown he can, fire away. Yeah, he really needs some, some other guys to step up and score tonight. Yeah. Didn't, didn't get it the other night. Simmons, with that vision, he doesn't hold it long. This young man who has the basketball now, one of the top underclassmen in the state of Missouri. Beautiful dish there. Underneath and off the mark. Pulled down from Wells, and here come the Mustangs. Nice rebound down low that time from Aiden Wells. That was Lancaster off the mark for Fulton. Here's Hess now from long range off the mark, and gonna stay with the Mustangs, or will it? It will stay here with Eldon. Might have gotten a little break on that. It almost looked like the Mustangs knocked it out. We'll take every break they can get yes, now, Wells, indeed. on the inbound over to Hess, who almost pulled the trigger. Hess is gonna have to start pulling that trigger, Chris, because they're gonna need points from him. 10-footer off the mark, pulled down by Reams as Austin Rush 
and able to connect 7-3. Fulton here, 5-10 left in the first. Josh Reams now inside to Simmons, takes it all the way off the mark. Reams with the offensive board and put back, and it counts, Chris, impressive for Fulton. And that's Josh Reams, still head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for a chance at the good old fashioned three point play. Well, I tell you what, he's been a one man show so far. Reams has all nine of Fulton's points, looking to make it 10 here. Wow. He connects there. So, Chris Reams is on pace for about 106 points at this pace. <laughs> yeah. That'd so, be something. So, Eldon now needing a basket. Hess from the corner. Down low to Rush. Back out to the freshman. Skip pass over to Wells, who will pull up from deep, and he ends it. Aiden wow. Wells putting the Mustangs on his back, and a nice find from Hunter Hess. And that's six now. For Wells as Fulton wastes no time coming back. The answer, and it is good. Hey, Jay, sorry, that's Walker Goring with the tray. And Chris, don't blink. And it's a turnover. Simmons with the steal ahead, and that is a basket for Donovan Weigel. Wow. Just like that, 21 points already scored, and we're not even four minutes into tonight's game. Oh, wow. See, they're as good on defense as they are on offense. It's Fulton team. Mm. And Coach Corey Casey going to take a timeout. So it is an exciting start to tonight's game. It's 15 6. The visiting Fulton Hornets out in front. This timeout break presented by Ozark Holmes. We'll be back after this. Hi. I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. If you're in the market for a new home or you may be considering building, I encourage you to look into custom-built modular homes. Our modular homes are built, financed, and insured like a regular house. We invite you to visit our display lot right on Highway 5 in Lorry at Lake of the Ozarks. Each home we have on display shows different features from kitchen layouts, floor plans, bathroom options, and much more. We can customize floor plans based off what you, the customer, are wanting. Ozark Homes, family owned, operated, and making homeowners dreams come true for over 30 years. We are back after our Ozark Homes timeout and Eldon trailing 15 to six with 406 left to go in the first. We'll inbound it. Here's Hunter Hess, the freshman. Inside to Aiden Wells. Nice power move off the glass and good. And Aiden Wells, all eight of the Mustangs points and Eldon hanging right in there. Yeah, Seven point what, game. We saw the same thing the last game. Aiden was the all, pretty much the entire offense. Eldon needs to help him out with some other players scoring. That one, an offensive board and put back down low. That's Kobe Lancaster, the sophomore and another second chance basket for Fulton. They just move so well, Chris. Yeah, they do. Devin Wardenberg. First action in a while. Here's Wells for the Mustangs. Out to Hess from Bledsoe, and that's off the mark, and chased down by Goring. Goring now on the other end for three, hits that, and Fulton starts a perfect three for three from deep. They lead 20 to eight with 3.05 left. Well, you can't let Goring open out there from three point range because he is deadly. Way out now, here's Wardenberg. He's trapped now, finds Wells inside. He'll pull up and Aiden Wells, give me that rock. He stays hot. Gee. Aiden Wells with 10 points, all 10 points for the Mustangs. Nice look from Simmons inside. You gotta be kidding me. That's next level stuff as he finds Lancaster, lead back to 12. Wardenberg now tries the tray and he hits. Eldon, they are hanging with the Fulton Hornets as Devin Wardenberg splashes home the tray. They needed that. Wow, how about the Mustangs? And here's on the other end and that's gonna rattle out for Weigel. And here comes Hunter Hess. Wells off the mark and that's gonna be pulled down by Lancaster and here come the Hornets. Reams, he'll try his luck from deep, and Josh Reams is on fire. 
Oh my, Chris, how about this? <laughs> wow. They're on pace for 100 points. Well over, this is crazy. Wardenburg now, and Elvin, they're firing with them right there. Hunter Hess over to Wardenburg. He hit his last one, and that's gonna be off of Simmons, and it'll stay with Elvin. As for the Mustangs, Nikki Martinfee now checks in, and for Fulton, A.J. Henderson, along with Cameron Bennett, onto the floor for them. And our thanks to COMC, Arrow Point Solar, Hy-Vee Lake of the Ozarks, Crown Power and Equipment, Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance, Ozark Homes, Lake Expo, Slumberland Furniture, and Missouri State High School Activities Association are incredible sponsors. No doubt as Eldon has it back now. Wells triple team, doesn't matter. He's gonna find Hess outside for three and he hits. Aiden Wells creates and the freshman hits the shot and Eldon now. Right back to a nine point game. Man, Eldon has scored 16 points already. They're on pace to score nearly 75 points and it's not enough at this point. To the rack with the and one, it's A.J. Henderson. And he'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. And Chris, this is absolutely crazy. Both teams having an offensive performance of the season and we still have a minute of the first quarter. Well, you can see how quick A.J. Henderson is there in the lane. Sweet move, easy shot, and he gets the foul too. Henderson the off the mark and an offensive rebound here. And wow, really tough. Javar Galbraith, the freshman, he's a specimen, Chris. He gets mm. the offensive board, creates contact, and he'll take a trip to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for two. And he's a freshman, wow. This, this Fulton team is gonna be tough. And the freshman hits the first. Yeah, take another look at this. It was off the mark and just goes straight up and just that speed and that size yeah. that Coach Corey Casey said he was worried about, about this Fulton team and how could he not be? That one off the mark and pulled down by Bayshore and here comes Elvin now. Might be smart for the Mustangs to throw it around a little bit and look for the last shot here. Yeah, Nathan Reynolds, he has Martin Fee, a near turnover, and they're gonna get the foul on A.J. Henderson, the senior. So 28-16, 47 seconds left. This looks like a halftime score. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can see why we talked up this Fulton team during the pregame show. I mean, they are really good. And Eldon, I mean, they've hit four of seven shots from the perimeter. They're hanging in there. Yeah. So they're playing well. And here's Wells now inside on the freshman. Ooh. He gets his own rebound. I don't know how there was no contact there. And they're gonna say it's a push on the floor. So Aiden Wells, he thought he was going to the free throw line. And you see here, oh, that was a good swat. And that one looked to be a little contact, but nice offensive rebound there. Yeah, great fight down low from the Mustangs. They didn't give up, kept going after it. Base short now to Wells off the mark, and that's gonna be crowded by Hunter Hess. He has Wells top the key. Wells now, 18 seconds left, and I think Eldon might be content to try to let the clock go, and Wells will pull the trigger mm. off the mark, pulled down by the freshman as that three wouldn't go home, and here comes Fulton with seven seconds left. Henderson holds, now he has Goring, Goring into the lane, outside, long three-point attempt, and off the mark, not able to hit was Cameron Bennett, but an exciting first quarter comes to a close with Fulton, a 12-point lead. They lead the Mustangs 28-16. We'll take this quarter break, presented by Ozark Homes. The Modern Farmhouse look is here to stay, and we have it for less at Slumberland Furniture. Start out with neutrals. Use a beige or light gray sofa as your base to build on. Next, mix and match metals and wood. Try adding contrast by using light with dark. Finally, add home style pillows and unique farmhouse accessories. Play around and have fun. Get your current look for less at Slumberland Furniture. We welcome you back and you're gonna see some impressive shooting. That was Josh Reams, but collectively, these teams shot eight of 13 from deep. Fulton went four of six, Eldon went four of seven, and that was just an incredible display of deep, point, deep three point shooting on both sides. And 
44 points scored in that first <laughs> quarter. Wow. Yeah, and, and I tell you what, it doesn't take long for Fulton to score. Reams leading the way with 13 points in that first quarter. We had six from uh, Goring, two from Weigel, four Lancaster, two from Henderson. Uh, and the Hornets were two for four from the line unofficially. I do not think uh, Eldon took a free throw in that first quarter. They did not, Chris, but they will start our second quarter with the basketball, and we'll see what Eldon can do here. Hunter Hess over to Reynolds. Reynolds, great defensive pressure from Fulton. Hess now inside to Wells. He goes up and off the mark, pulled down by Fulton, and here they come after the Sailor rebound. A.J. Henderson has it. And he's got Simmons. Back to Simmons. Cameron Bennett didn't want it. Simmons now in the lane, takes it off the glass, and that is special. Cortland Simmons with the finish. 14-point lead for Fulton. His first two points of the game, and he is their main stud. So Fulton's been able to do it without him so far tonight. Yeah, but he's probably got five or six assists already. <laughs> Good point. The young man creates. He loves to draw the defense in there. He shows you what he does, a steal and a dime to A.J. Henderson. Actually didn't hit the free throw. Fulton able to keep a hold of it, and Simmons now from deep doesn't go. And they get the offensive rebound, and boy, that was impressive as Eldon could not escape Cortland Simmons. He does it all, Chris. Off the glass, tried to get Wells up. He didn't bite, but he has the special touch and he kisses it off the glass. Yeah, he didn't score a point in the first quarter. He's got the first two buckets of the second quarter. Hess now over to Bayshore. Hunter Hess, top of your key. Eldon down 16. Reynolds holds, being guarded by Cortland Simmons. Reynolds, he needs help. He has Bledsoe. Goes baseline. He nice finds pass. Hess on a great pass, and Hess unable to hit the three. Pulled down and off the mark, and then it's Aiden Wells. So two offensive rebounds for Eldon on what ended up being a beautiful find on the baseline by P.J. Bledsoe. Now, although Hess was unable to hit this three, Eldon real aggressive down low, and it's going to be Aiden Wells heading to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. Great fight from the Mustangs down low, getting those rebounds and the second chances. Such a pure stroke and Aiden Wells now, just a great start to this game. He has 11 and he's really done it all. Even on the basket that he didn't score on the few, he's had an assist and he's had a couple of big rebounds. Hits both free throws from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. And Eldon cuts it back to 14 with 6.05 left in the first half. Wells is going to college on a scholarship, on a golf scholarship. I tell you what, he's good enough. I think he could play a little basketball if he wants to walk onto the team. No doubt, and a little deflection by Bledsoe and a travel, and that is Fulton's first turnover wow. tonight. Took 10 minutes and six seconds into the contest, but they do turn it over, and Eldon now down just 14 points. We'll try to trim this Fulton lead. Yeah, they're fighting hard. They're they're hanging in there. Uh, it's a uh, normal Mustangs team fighting hard. Oh, that hard. was impressive. Ooh, yeah. Missed the bunny, did Bledsoe, but really nice pass work from Eldon. And Chris, although you don't hit the layup, mm. it's those things that will come with time. You know, as far as moving against a fast team like Fulton and finding those backdoor cuts and then being able to make that pass, those are all really good signs for Coach Corey Casey and this Mustangs team. And you love to see it, especially against a team who is as physical and fast as Fulton. And like I said, although we didn't hit the bunny, got to love what you're seeing from Eldon. Yeah, games like this will probably make the Mustangs better. Great finish from the freshman, Javar Galbraith. Really nice defense from Aiden Wells. Just nothing he could do as Galbraith. Beautiful touch off the glass. Here's Hess with the layup, and the freshman kisses it off the glass. Nice. Impressive, and that's his first basket. Actually, has a three earlier, so Hess now five tonight. They're going to need him to step up. Reams catch and fire, and he hits it. Josh Reams is on fire. He continues what he started in the first quarter. Keeps it rolling, Chris. Boy, he's got a smooth looking shot. Effortless. Here's Eldon now on the other end. Really good work. Deflection stolen away by Cortland Simmons. 
Pass inside to Reams and he'll finish. Simmons the steal, the assist, and Reams with the finish. And that's a reoccurring theme I think you're going to hear a lot over the next few years. Reams has 18 points in this game already. Hasn't broken a sweat either. Reynolds now from three. Oh, that looked good just off the mark. And Henderson pulls down the rebound. And here comes Fulton. Loses his balance. Good effort from Bledsoe. Reams corrals it. And then a kick ball as Wardenberg set to check in for Eldon. Donovan Weigel in for Fulton as well as Colby Lancaster, the sophomore. So a lot of action. But wow. how about this duo? Fast paced action. Yeah, this. Uh, there it is there. again. Simmons to oh. Reams. And I think that's the first thing he's missed tonight. Reynolds pulls down the tray. So 39 20, Fulton. A lot of points. Reynolds just off the mark, pulled down by Weigel. And here comes Fulton. Nice open look, though. He just couldn't get it to go down for him. And those are the looks that you want to have a kid like Nathan Reynolds get. He's a great shooter. And as his confidence continues to progress, those are great shots. The basket hit by Goring. The timeout by head coach of the Fulton Hornets, Justin, Justin Gilmore. Gilmore. We'll be right back after this Ozark Homes timeout break. Smart homeowners are discovering an AeroPoint solar panel system can save them money. Tens of thousands over the life of their solar system. Decrease electric costs, increase home values, get income tax credits, rebates, grants, and other discounts, all while decreasing your carbon footprint. Finance options are available with no money down and a fixed interest rate. All you have to do is call or text AeroPoint Senior Solar Consultant Randy Gromit at 602-361-1287. Locally owned AeroPoint Solar. We welcome you back after our Ozark Homes timeout. And here come the Mustangs as Hunter Hess. He has Wells being guarded closely by Weigel. Wells in the lane, and he's going to get the contact. And impressive drive. Great body control from Aiden Wells. He'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Chris, now real quick, did want to give a shout out to Carlos Ivory. He is a longtime program assistant in Fulton, and he's been enabled with everything going on to be around the program and at the games. And Coach Justin Gilmore really thought it was important that we give a shout out to Carlos Ivory with Fulton. So Carlos, if you're watching, man, the program loves what you bring to the table. And thanks for watching, my friend. So the first free throw good, the second one missed by Wells. And here comes Fulton, Chris, just like that. Oh, what a dish from oh. Simmons. And the finish, oh baby, Colby Lancaster. Mind you, both of those kids are sophomores. What an incredible sequence. Off the mark, and here comes the Hornets after the Weigel rebound and pull down, and that's gonna be just the second Fulton turnover. Let's get another look at this, Chris. Wow. I tell you what, this kid, uh, and he made it look pretty effortless too on the slam. It was very, very impressive. Nice passing, too. Simmons the dish, and oh, baby, Lancaster, the flush. Big shout out to Ricky Smith, our chief engineer on Replay Machine, bringing you that crown power and equipment instant replay. So Hunter Hess now has Bay Shore. He'll, he'll find Wells, and he'll pull the trigger from deep, and he hits it. Oh, mama, Aiden Wells stays hot. How about it, Chris? 16 points for Wells. Yeah, he is putting on a clinic as well. How about the answer? Just off the mark, Bledsoe with the rebound and then the turnover for Eldon. Simmons will reset over to guess who off the mark and Fulton just continues to contain possession and they score. Reams finally misses a couple of times, the last two times down the field, but it doesn't matter here as Fulton just continues to score points in bunches. Yeah, they got the good roll on that one. They had a couple of non-calls on that. They knocked the ball away from Eldon. I think they could have called a couple of fouls there. Mustangs didn't get the break. No, and they're kind of letting them play, which doesn't favor a team that's smaller in Eldon. I hate to see that for Coach Corey Casey because they are letting them play. Wells from deep. Whoa! Oh, baby, and the foul, 
Aiden Wells, how about it? Wow. From long three-point range, and he gets the foul. Looking for four-point play here. You got to be kidding me. From the penetration <laughs> line, closer to the scores table than he is the three-point wow. line, Aiden Wells, and he'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity oh. Stripe. Misses the free throw, but impressive nonetheless. Wow. And Ooh. Reeves very nearly turns it over inside, and there's going to be an Eldon foul. But, I mean, this is incredible because typically, Eldon, with this kind of offensive outpouring and the way they've played, they'd be right in it. Yeah. But Fulton has just continued to be that much quicker and shoot that much better. And hard to believe they lead by 18 because Eldon has had crazy amount of highlights. Yeah, they have. They've played very well. It just gives you an idea of how good this Hornets team is. Off the mark, and I guess who? It's Reams with the offensive rebound and put back. And I mean, this is a special young man on a team filled with special young men on the basketball side. And this is crazy, Chris Huss to the rack. Off the oh, glass, nice. what a finish for the freshman. And Eldon continues to answer just an 18 point game. Hunter Hess, he's had a solid game tonight with seven. And Simmons, a little too hot to handle. I mean, he has such great vision. Sometimes not only are we not expecting it, but his own team isn't expecting it. So that's just the third Fulton turnover. And here come the Mustangs. Hunter Hess has had a couple of really nice drives in this first half. He's and shown another element to his game. Yeah, he has. We didn't see that the other night. Wells now back out into the lane now and here's Martin Fee for three. He nearly hits mm. off the mark and pulled down by the freshman Galbraith. Reams on the other end, just too easy. Doesn't even seem like he has to try. That's Josh Reams, the sophomore. 23 first half points and Hunter Hess answers again. He's got nine and this is the best performance we've seen from the freshman for the Mustangs tonight. He's showing that he has the body control to finish at the rack. Yep, he has figured out that he can drive the lane and shoot that shot and he's done it really well three times so far in this game. And Fulton, they may play for one last shot. I think Eldon would be just fine <laughs> if they did that. Weigel now back over inside to Reams. Galbraith now to Weigel on the skip pass. Weigel outside to Goring. Knocked away. Still oh. a loose ball. Picked up by Goring, and he hits it. Everything that can go right for Fulton has, and the full court heave is nearly hit as the quarterback for the Mustangs, Hunter Hess, nearly converts, but just sensational as Walker Goring collects the basketball, hits the three, and our half comes to a close with Fulton out in front, 53 to 31. We'll take a commercial break when we return. It'll be your halftime show presented by Hy-Vee in Osage Beach. Dig, mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best-selling compact tractor, the Kubota L-Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion, power, performance. Visit your local Crown Power and equipment dealership today. Grab the family and get ready for Lake of the Ozarks Eagle Days 2021, presented by Ameren, Missouri. It's Eagle Days on Saturday, March 6th at Lake of the Ozarks. Enjoy incredible hourly live eagle and owl presentations from Dickerson Park Zoo and World Bird Sanctuaries. For this year's updated event information, visit LakeoftheOzarksEagleDays.com. It's the annual Lake of the Ozarks Eagle Days, presented by Ameren, Missouri, on Saturday, March 6th. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. That's what you'll find at Eldon Furniture. John Kane with Eldon Furniture. The new year's here. We've completed inventory and found closeouts and discontinued items with new merchandise on the way. You'll find great savings in every department. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. Our resolution is to make you comfortable in a room that's affordable. Eldon Furniture. 
Your time on the water is limited and High V in Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V in Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Everyone knows you can watch Lake TV at the lake, but you can take it with you when you go, too. Watch Lake TV anywhere on Roku or streaming live at MyLakeTV.com. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. And we are back on Lake TV and it's our halftime show presented by hy V and Osage Beach. Chris, we love the good folks at hy V and Osage Beach, but they're not the only incredible sponsor making live high school basketball on Lake TV possible for you, our viewers. Chris, tell us about our other sponsors. We've got some great ones, man. Central Ozarks Medical Center. We've got uh, Arrow Point Solar hy V, as you mentioned, Crown Power and Equipment in Eldon. Love that replay, man. Yeah. Mike Heitman, State Farm Insurance. Love us a Mike Heitman, man. Ozark Homes, Lake Expo, Slumberland Furniture. Don't you love Jill and company over there at Slumberland? Oh, uh, not only do we love Jill, we got some exciting things to tell you about Slumberland Furniture and yep. the goofballs here <laughs> at Lake TV. And of course, we can't forget the good folks at the Missouri State High School Activities Association. And yep. I know Jason West and his crew would love what they've seen tonight, because I'll tell you, this is some incredible scoring. We've seen both teams shooting exceptionally well from outside. As a matter of fact, Eldon has shot six of 13 from deep, and Fulton has shot seven of 13 from deep. That's unheard of collectively. That's 50% from the game, Chris, and you just don't see that from three-point land, and we've seen it here tonight as you're going to get a look at all of the sharpshooters on both ends. I mean, this has been just incredible because typically you play a team like Fulton, they put up 53 points. You don't have time to score. <laughs> so the fact that Eldon has scored 31 points and stayed in this game and not really turned the ball over a ton, has not missed a lot of shots, tells me a lot. First and foremost, we told you how good this Fulton team was. I'm not sure even Chris and I were quite ready for the display they were going to put on. Let's look at our leading scorers for the Fulton Hornets. Yeah, I tell you what, they're led by uh, Josh Reams. Josh has 23 points. He had 13 in the first quarter uh, and finished the first half with 23. You got young Walker Goring with 13 points for the Hornets, most of those from three-point range outside. And then you got... Uh, our spotlight player of the game, Simmons, just four points. He's usually leading the way in scoring. Doesn't have to tonight. Six points for uh, young Mr. Lancaster. So I tell you what, scoring is not an issue for Fulton. No doubt about it. And Chris, unfortunately, but we don't keep stats like steals and assists on individual players, but I would guess Cortland Simmons has five or six steals yep. and at least eight or nine assists already. So although the young man only has four points, on all of those Josh Reams 
points. Most of those are coming from a pretty impressive pass from Cortland Simmons. And so just incredible what we've seen from them. So you know what they've done. But Eldon has been putting on a clinic, especially Aiden Wells and the freshman Hunter Hess. Tell us about the way Eldon's scoring broke Aiden, down in the first. Aiden Wells with 19, and he was wow. pretty uh, consistent throughout, too. He had yeah. 10 points in the first quarter, 9 points in the second quarter, missed two of his uh, five free throws, could have had a couple more points, but 19 points for Aiden Wells. I mean, that kid is really good. Oh, man. And uh, this is his best performance that we've seen tonight because we've seen a couple of times where he's had to do too much. But tonight, not only is he scoring, but he's creating looks for other players on his team, including Hunter S, who has looked really impressive in the first half, nine points, and three of those on just incredible drives and finishes. Yeah, really good. Hunter Hess is really a good, young, talented yeah. player. Starting quarterback on the football team as a freshman. And, and, you know, every game you see him play, you see him pick up a little more confidence, yeah. uh, whether it's with his shot. Tonight, he's figured out how to drive the lane and score that drive and layup. He's done that three times. He did that in the second quarter. He figured out how to do it. And as a freshman, you just do that. You figure out those things game to game. And then uh, Devin Wardenberg with a nice three-pointer as well. As he comes back, he's been out for a while for the Mustangs, so they're glad to have him back and the opportunity to get a few more points from him. Yeah, and although it's a 22-point game at half, Fulton's out in front, 53-31. to 31. This is one of the better performances I've seen from the Elvin Mustangs. There is nothing to be ashamed about with the way they're playing. They are scoring. They're sharing the basketball. They're defending. I mean, I look at the numbers. Elvin is 6 of 13 from deep. You would take that every single night if you could at nearly 45%. 3 of 5 from the free throw line. They've only turned the ball over 5 times, and we've seen them turn it over 28 times a couple weeks ago. And so against one of the best, if not the best defensive team they'll see, only 5 first half turnovers. Gotta love that for Coach Corey Casey, and also for Eldon. Hard to believe they've pulled down 5 offensive rebounds against a <laughs> physical team like Fulton. That's impressive. They have yielded 9. Fulton's pulled down, but you would think when you look at that stat, offensive rebounds, Fulton would be more than a plus four in that category. Eldon's got to like that. Fulton, three turnovers. Eldon only a minus two in the turnover department. Fulton's two of four from the free throw line. And as I alluded to, seven of 13 from deep. Just sensational shooting. An amazing performance from both teams. Of course, Fulton up 22 as we get ready for our second half of play. But Chris, we thought it was going to be a fun one. I didn't really expect to see this much scoring. I tell you what, if Eldon would have played this good against Tipton earlier a uh, couple of days ago, they probably would have won that game by 15 or 20 points. Uh, so, I mean, you got to give Eldon credit. They're playing a really good game. They're just playing against a really good team. We'll see if that can continue into the second half. We'll be right back with the second half of this one after this. Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. We are back here on Lake TV as our quarter break brought to you by Ozark Homes. Of course, our halftime show brought to you by Hy-Vee and Osage Beach. And as we start our third quarter, Fulton's going to get the basketball up 22. And you look at it for Fulton, a lot of scoring across the way. And for Eldon, so far, you've seen a lot of their scoring. 28 of their 31 points coming courtesy of Aiden Wells and Hunter Hess. So we'll see if those two don't continue their hot scoring. And if you haven't seen our high school basketball coaches show, you need to check that out on Lake TV. Weekdays at 9, 4, and 10, high school basketball coaches show. A little oop opportunity off the mark, and Eldon pulls it down. And the new episode of the Lake Area High School Basketball Coaches Show Day's View, what day of the week? Uh, Wednesdays. So look for our newest episode Wednesday, and Eldon now 
benefits from that. And a little offensive rebound and pass work. No one wanted it. Mm. P.J. Bledsoe now. Look at this. Bayshore with another rebound. And Elvin, four on the same series and Ooh. very nearly hitting that was Aiden Wells. But four offensive rebounds on that sequence for the Mustangs. That's one thing you love about this Mustang team is they just keep fighting. You love the fight in this team. Yeah, they've got a lot of really, really hungry players on the court in Fulton now. They'll reset top of the key. It's Goring. Inside to Reams. Reams fades away, misses, and off the backboard. That'll go over to Elvin on I, the turnover. I believe we've gone a minute without Fulton scoring, and I think that's a record for this game. <laughs> it is the longest amount of time that's elapsed without the Hornets either scoring inside or splashing home a deep one. And Hunter Hess now with the pressure, able to elude that. Wells back to Hess, over to Bayshore. Bayshore now holds into the corner for P.J. Bledsoe. He'll try to penetrate. Penetrate goes baseline, he has Hess in the lane for Rush, over to Wells for three, off the mark and pulled down by Simmons. Long pass, up as his man, off the mark, offensive rebound. Weigel gets his own and puts it back. Four points for Weigel in the game now. Donovan Weigel, just a sophomore, as all five of Fulton starters are, as we've told you all night. Here's Wells now. Over nice to pass. Bayshore. That's a beautiful extra pass from Bayshore into the corner for Hess, who hits the three, and Hess now has 12. Well, I think this is Hess's best game of the season. He's really starting to gain in confidence. And you heard me in the pregame. I said, this is one of the two kids that's going to step up offensively as a backdoor screen finds a wide open Walker Goring, and he finishes with a beautiful spinorama at the rack. 23 point lead is. Reams gets called for the reach on Hess, and that'll give us just a second to catch our breath. I tell you what, I wonder if Reams is a running back on their football team, because he is a salty kid. He is he is a lot of muscle there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, just big kid, yep. strong. I just can't believe some of these guys are sophomores. So he's effortless. Good drive and kick back out. Here's Hess with the hot hand, tries his luck once again. Off the mark, pulled down by Reams, and here come the Hornets. Reams, he may go all the way. Met by Wells, gets his own rebound, back up, and he muscles it in. Nice job by Wells to contest, but Reams right there to get his own rebound and put it right back. He has a game high 25 points. Yes, he does. Over to Bayshore on the skip pass. He now holds and looks in the corner for Bayshore. We're sorry for Rush. Rush back to Wells. Dribbles left side. Kicks into the corner. Hess. Now drives baseline and knocked out of his hand. It'll stay with the Mustangs. And there's those quick hands of Cortland Simmons. Very nearly knocked that one for an Eldon turnover. And they're so tall. You know, you see the Mustangs when they get down into the paint, it's tough for them to do anything with it because there's so many tall Hornets down there. Yeah, no doubt about it. So here's Bayshore now. Over to Hess for Wells, who will try the triple. Ooh. Off the mark, gets his own rebound into the lane. We'll kick it back out. Hess now. And the three-pointer for Rush. Hits it, nice job by Rush. Austin Rush, the sophomore, first time he scored tonight. Cuts it back to a 22-point Fulton lead. Yeah, and he, he didn't hesitate. He just took that baby, felt pretty good about it. That was a good-looking shot. He's yeah, missed have. some time, too. Yeah, and it's his first game back, like you said, in a while. And beautiful dish from Simmons once again to Lancaster. And Oh, baby, that is so, so good. That was nice. Over the shoulder, no look. Inspired by Patrick Mahomes, maybe. Let's hope Patrick's OK next weekend. Into the corner, Rush, Woo! second time in a row, assisted by Aiden Wells. And don't look now, but Kyla Rush, sorry, Austin Rush, going to heat up for the Mustangs. And if they can get a couple of guys to give them 10, 12, 13 points a game, they're going to be dangerous come conference play. Absolutely. And, and a game like this, you're down by 21. You're probably not going to come back and win. But this will help them in future games. Little floater, nice contest by Wells. Knocked away, going to stay with Fulton. But really impressed still what Eldon's able to do to continue to hang with this impressive 
Fulton team. Yeah. Now checking into the game is Kyler Rush, the senior. Nice for pass the Mustangs. There. Yeah. I tell you, Fulton has really, really good interior passing. Yeah, it's been impressive. 320 left, 61 40, Fulton in front. Aiden Wells now, left side, he'll hold. Over to Bledsoe. Rush back to Wells, who nearly shot it. We've already seen him hit one and get fouled from deeper than that. Here he goes from that same spot. Oh, he can hit from there. If you didn't believe it the first time, you better believe it now. Aiden Wells from NBA range. Yeah, I think he was in Versailles when he took that shot. I mean, you got to be kidding me, but they're not phased. That being the Fulton Hornets, the sophomore Walker Goring, like an upperclassman with an answer. 17 for Goring now. And they're going to get Fulton. That's A.J. Henderson, the senior. But get another look. Oh. Chris, when I was in high school, <laughs> you weren't even allowed to shoot from there. No. It's crazy to see the way the game has transcended when you look at guys like Steph Curry and James Harden and LeBron James, and they shoot regularly from there. And these kids, well, they watch those games. Yes, they do. Cortland Simmons, are you kidding me? Behind the back, Dipsy Daisy. My goodness, what a pass in the finish from Javar Galbraith. Wow. Yeah, and we talked about interior passing. That one was sweet. Corey Casey calls the timeout. It's Fulton in front by 22 with 2.16 left in the third quarter. We'll be back on Lake TV after this timeout presented by Ozark Homes. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. If you're in the market for to look into custom built modular homes. Our modular homes are built, financed, and insured like a regular house. We invite you to visit our display lot right on Highway 5 in Lori at Lake of the Ozarks. Each home we have on display shows different features from kitchen layouts, floor plans, bathroom options, and much more. We can customize floor plans based off what you, the customer, are wanting. Ozark Homes, family owned, operated, and making homeowners dreams come true for over 30 years. Welcome back, Lake TV's high school basketball brought to you by our wonderful sponsors, Central Ozarks Medical Center, COMC, Arrow Point Solar, High V, Lake of the Ozarks, Crown Power and Equipment in Eldon, Mike Heitman, State Farm Insurance, Ozark Homes, Lake Expo, Slumberland Furniture, Slumberland at the Lake, and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. You just got another look at that pass from Simmons to Galbraith. Just sensational, and Chris, I'm going to I got a bold uh, statement here in a minute. Now Wells almost pulls back and Ooh. low pass from Hunter Hess and a little hot to handle and a little low. And that's Eldon's just their second turnover of this second half. But Chris, I believe that Cortland Simmons is the best passing guard I have ever seen at wow. the high school level. And he is only a sophomore. Wow. And I have seen some amazing high school talent over the years. And, Muscles in there, no good. Pulled down by Galbraith, and he's up, doesn't get it to go, and continuing to fight for it. A couple offensive rebounds for Fulton. Inside, Henderson off the mark. Galbraith, no. Rush, no, and then Galbraith collects it. Fulton, three offensive rebounds in this sequence. Wow. Henderson now trips up, stays on his feet, and we're going to get a travel called on Fulton. I'm not sure that... Uh, they loved that call. Not sure I <laughs> loved that call. Nonetheless, goes as a Fulton turnover in the books, and hey, here come the Mustangs. Eldon will take it, right? Every uh, every little break they get. Again, there could have been a couple of foul calls on that, but they didn't get any of those calls. Fulton's just so tall, they can go over your over the top of you and get away with it. Kyla Rush misses off the mark. Fulton comes back. Really nice set of hands by Hunter Hess. He has Aiden Wells mm. off the mark and pulled down by Fulton. So a 22-point game, Elton hanging in there. Tell you what, as good as this uh, Fulton team is, that is hanging in there. I mean, it was 22 points at the half, so Elton has hung right with them. Score for score here in this third quarter. Galbert inside out game with Henderson. He's off the mark, pulled down by Wardenberg. He has Hunter Hess, and here comes Eldon with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. And remember, Eldon is still a very young team, too. They're still growing up, and, and they've got some, some really, really good young players. And great find from Hess. 
into the corner. He was looking for Rush, not there. Wardenberg with the offensive rebound, puts it back at Eldon, down just 20 with 10 seconds to go. Nice shot, nice, that's five points for Wardenberg. Three seconds left, it's a deep one. And oh my goodness, a sign of how the night has gone for the Fulton Hornets as the sophomore Walker Goring hits it from half court essentially and nothing you're not used to seeing on tonight's broadcast. After three quarters of play, it is the Fulton Hornets in front of the Eldon Mustang, 68 to 45. We'll be back after this Ozark Holmes timeout break. The Modern Farmhouse look is here to stay, and we have it for less at Slumberland Furniture. Start out with neutrals. Use a beige or light gray sofa as your base to build on. Next, mix and match metals and wood. Try adding contrast by using light with dark. Finally, add homestyle pillows and unique farmhouse accessories. Play around and have fun. Get your current look for less at Slumberland Furniture. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. We welcome you back from our Ozark Homes quarter break just in time to see this crown power oh, equipment man. instant replay. Are you kidding me, Walker? Goring says, you think you have range, Aiden Wells? Let me show you something. That was something. Here comes Eldon the other way. Rush and able to hit. Bayshore takes it right back. And Rush, the nice take, and he'll head to the Mike Kiteman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. How about Kaysen Bayshore, the sophomore, with the little steal, the great dish, and the great <laughs> pump fake by Rush to get to the free throw line. Yeah, and that was, it uh, took some guts by Rush. You know, he took it right to the hoop and uh, got the foul. Good job. First free throw on the way, and I didn't see if he hit it. He or got not. her down, yeah. He did. How about that? Kylo Rush, the senior. First game back in quite some time. Hits a pair from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. I'm telling you, if Eldon would have played this good the other night against Tipton, they would have won by 20 points. Oh, they would have buried that Tipton team, and they're capable of that. This is an up-and-coming program, Chris, is the three-pointer off the mark and battled for. And that's going to be off Fulton. I believe it's Eldon basketball. Oh, I think Fulton catches a break there. Yep. They're not, they're not going to argue that. <laughs> well, you could tell the way the Fulton players were going after it. They thought they had touched it last. That's all right. Eldon's got a break or two. Fulton's got a break or two. It all evens out. Here's Simmons now. Out to Henderson. Extra pass. Bennett over to A.J. Henderson. And Henderson hits the three-pointer for Fulton. How about that? Seven. Extra pass so unselfish. Yeah, 71 points in the game now for Fulton, who is flirting with 100. Nathan Reynolds now in there. It's Hunter Hess. He'll try his luck from deep off the mark and pulled down by Galbraith. Nice little pump fake there from Hess. Just a uh, shot was way off the mark. Following the conclusions of tonight's game, don't go anywhere. We have our post-game show presented by Slumberland at the lake as Cortland Simmons splashes home the little runner in the lead. Now 26 for Fulton. That was smooth, wasn't it? You can see why Cortland Simmons is such a great player. Yeah, this has been crazy. Kyla Rush now inside, pulls the defense, finds Reynolds, and Reynolds nearly turns it over. Henderson tries, and it's off the Eldon player and over to Fulton. Good effort from Reynolds, good hustle from Fulton, and the Hornets take it after the Eldon turnover. Yeah, when, uh, you know, when we were talking with uh, Fulton head coach, uh, Justin Gilmore before the game, he kind of smiled and said, if we play defense, we can be really good. I tell you what, they the, the offense comes easy to them. Defense, if they put their mind to it, this team is just, just a juggernaut. You're not kidding. And partner, a couple stats just to tell you how good the Eldon Mustangs are playing against this team. In the third quarter, they matched Fulton. They both only turned it over twice. 
Eldon had six offensive rebounds to Fulton's five. So it wasn't that Eldon was missing more shots or turning it over. It's just a sign of how good this team is. And just like that, I jinxed the Mustangs. <laughs> Woo. No way. I was going to say, still an incredible effort. The offensive rebound and put back from Lancaster. But this Simmons kid, he's going to turn heads. He's going to get a lot of yeah. college looks wow. as Coach Corey Casey calls the timeout. Let's get another look here on the Crown Power and Equipment replay. Oh, mama. If he'd have made that, we would have sent that over to Sports Center. Boy. We'll be back after this Ozark Holmes timeout break. Dig, mow, haul and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best-selling compact tractor, the Kubota L-Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion, power, performance. Visit your local Crown Power and equipment dealership today. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. And back to Lake TV's high school basketball. Wow. We're just seeing some of these crazy three-pointers, Chris. <laughs> it's nuts, isn't it? Oh, incredible. And we'd like to thank our sponsors, COMC, Arrow Point Solar, Hy-Vee Lake of the Ozarks, Crown Power and Equipment in Eldon, Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance, Ozark Homes, Lake Expo, Slumberland Furniture, and, of course, the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Yeah, and they've had to maneuver a lot of challenges this year. Jason West, the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Kudos to him and his team and being able to get a lot of the season played. And turnover for Eldon. A.J. Henderson ahead with the fast break points. And the lead now 30 for the visiting Fulton Hornets with 5.18 to go. Here's Rush. Finds Aiden Wells who hits another from way deep. And Wells having just an incredible night, has 25. Yeah, that's right. Unbelievable, he has been something else. What a pass from Henderson. And he finds number 22, Cameron Bennett, the senior. This is just sensational <laughs> basketball across the board. You know, if you're a senior at Fulton, you go, man, I'm not gonna get much playing time because of all these sophomores. Those guys are pretty good too. Henderson all the way, and oh my goodness. Wonderful body control, the late finish. And this is next level stuff you're seeing, Chris. Eldon just keep playing hard. You're seeing some very special athletes on the court. Rush now from three off the mark. Wells with the rebound up and gets the foul. He'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for a pair. Nice effort, Rush just continues or sorry, Wells just continues to battle. Look at that layup up and underneath uh, again. Just the talent is just oozing out of this uh, Fulton team. Yeah, it's wonderful, you know, and when you're, you know, out of school, you hope to get a one special player, <laughs> like one of their starters. How true is that? You hope to get one every, you know, six to eight years. And then you get coach Justin Gilmore and he gets five with three off the bench. I mean, oh, wow. what are they doing to recruit those kids from all over the world to come play in Fulton, Missouri, man? That's incredible. It is incredible. You know, it is funny, but it happens every once in a while because Coach Engelbrecht of Osage, when he was with, uh, who was it, Eugene, I believe, they had a team like that one year, went to the Final Four. He said it was just one of those special years. It does happen. And you're seeing it happen, and honestly, you're seeing it happen for Fulton. But don't look now, folks. You might be seeing us on the verge of that here with this Eldon Mustangs team and all these young pieces they have. And as the season progresses, be exciting to see how some of these young components progress. Yeah, and a lot of our teams in this area, very young with very good coaches, so the future is bright. The one concern is you are gonna lose Aiden Wells, so that's a lot of your scoring that goes away overnight. So somebody's gonna have to be that guy moving forward. Hopefully for Eldon, they can find out. And in the meantime, are you kidding me? <laughs> Number four, Seth Saylor says, listen, I'm the senior, all you underclassmen quit getting the fans to ooh and ah. I'm the upperclassman, let me show you 
how it's done. Wow. He gets the and one on the circus finish, and he has the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Yeah, that was incredible. Misses a free he throw, misses though. Misses the free throw. We'll give you another look here momentarily as he wasn't able to convert the and one. But, I mean, we've got some highlights for you tonight, folks. <laughs> oh, man. Good defense from Fulton. Wonderful body control from Hess. Nice use of his pivot foot, just unable to hit the 10-foot runner. And here comes Fulton up 32, two minutes to go. Don't miss our Slumberland After Lake postgame show following tonight's game as the foul called on Rush. Part of our Slumberland postgame show, Chris will talk with head coach Justin Gilmore for a fold and their player of the game, which will be exciting, whoever that is, as we show you another oh, look at that. Wow. Just sensational. That's Seth Saylor, the senior, and now the Eldon. Players are gonna get spelled. Rush, Bledsoe, Hunter Hess, and Rush. Wells stays in the game, and here is the underclassman, if that even exists, <laughs> and Fulton. We should say some of the bench, as you see them on the floor now, up 32, a minute and 20 to go. Deep one pulled, very nearly hit. That's number two, Rowdy Goring, the younger brother of Walker Goring. Wells the other way for three, and he hits. Aiden Wells continues. He now has 30 for the Mustangs. Love to see the bench, they love to see it. They get what they want, and that is Terry on Logan. The sophomore hits the tray in Fulton. Their bench erupts and everybody contributing tonight for the Hornets. Aiden Wells now, 36 seconds left. Eldon, an impressive showing for them. You may not realize it by looking at the score, but one of, if not the best, outpourings from the Eldon Mustangs we've seen this season. Yep, yep, they played a really good game, but they played a really good team. And that's Nathan Reynolds for good measure, hits a late three with 18 seconds left, and Coach Corey Casey calls the timeout, so we'll take a commercial break for our Ozark Homes timeout break. We'll be back after this. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds, that's what you'll find at Eldon Furniture. John Kane with Eldon Furniture. The new year's here. We've completed inventory and found closeouts and discontinued items with new. And sorry for the interruption. We are back. That didn't take long. Just a symbolic timeout for head coach Corey Casey to get <laughs> some guys into the game. And that is your final. The Fulton Hornets come in and beat the Eldon Mustangs by 29, but an incredible performance by both sides. Your final, Fulton, 87. Elvin 58 will be back with our Slumberland at the Lake Post Game Show after this. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. That's what you'll find at Elvin Furniture. John Kane with Elvin Furniture. The new year's here. We've completed inventory and found closeouts and discontinued items with new merchandise on the way. You'll find great savings in every department. Furniture, flooring, bedding, and blinds. Our resolution is to make you comfortable in a room that's affordable. Elden Furniture. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Wow, Coach, that was pretty impressive from beginning to end. Thank you very much. We uh, we followed our game plan, and our guys came out and played hard, and they deserved this win, I think. Um, we shot it well, obviously, but uh, defensively, we continue to to play extremely hard, and it continues to pay off for us. Yeah, and I tell you what, this Eldon team, they didn't really play poorly tonight. They did not. Uh, and I told you before the game, they always play hard, and I told the guys in the locker room they were going to come out and play with a lot of energy, and they shot it very, very well tonight. They got a, a good little team down here in Eldon. Yeah, absolutely, a good young team. All right, so you chose your uh, player of the game. Introduce us to your player of the game tonight. This is our sophomore guard forward, Josh Reams. Um, he's been 
heating up of late from three. He had a really good championship game in California, and he uh, shot it really well tonight. But what I'm most proud of him tonight was he rebounded really well. I thought he had a, a few offensive rebound putbacks early and a lot of defensive rebounds for us. Um, he's come a long, long way for us in the last – year and a half and I couldn't be more proud of him. Josh, I tell you what, you were hot early and it didn't slow down? Yeah, the, my teammates were just finding me, getting open all the time. Uh, we play really good defense. Without our defense, I would have got no looks. And uh, looks just, like You're just as comfortable inside and outside. I mean, you're shooting the throughs and you're getting the inside shots too. Yeah, that's, that's probably from playing, just play, been playing with these guys for like three years. We just know how each other play, we get comfortable. So just sophomore starters. How far do you think this team can go this year? Uh, state championship. <laughs> there you go. You heard it from him. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you very All right, back to you. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it. Now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. If you're in the market for a new home or you may be considering building, I encourage you to look into custom-built modular homes. Our modular homes are built, financed, and insured like a regular house. We invite you to visit our display lot right on Highway 5 in Lori at Lake of the Ozarks. Each home we have on display shows different features from kitchen layouts, floor plans, bathroom options, and much more. We can customize floor plans based off what you, the customer, are wanting. Ozark Homes, family-owned, operated, and making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. The Modern Farmhouse look is here to stay, and we have it for less at Slumberland Furniture. Start out with neutrals. Use a beige or light gray sofa as your base to build on. Next, mix and match metals and wood. Try adding contrast by using light with dark. Finally, add home style pillows and unique farmhouse accessories. Play around and have fun. Get your current look for less at Slumberland Furniture. And we welcome you back to Lake TV. It's time for our Slumberland at the Lake post-game show. And, man, all I can say is wow. Well, then a whole lot more, of, of course. But your final tonight, Chris, 87-58 Fulton wins. And as good as uh, Eldon played, if you look at the box score, you didn't know it as they lose by 29. What do you take away from tonight's game? If you're Eldon, I take away, actually, believe it or not, confidence, even though they oh, yeah. lost 87 to 58, because I think they proved some things to themselves. They can play with a really good team, and you saw them growing. I mean, it, uh, Wells shot well, scored a lot of points, but you saw Hess starting to play better. You saw Rush starting to play better. You, got, you saw uh, some of the other team's components picking it up and playing better. Another tough loss, but I think in that loss, a lot of the young players just keep getting better and better. Yeah, and uh, they have to be happy with tonight because it never feels good to lose like that but sometimes you get a team on your schedule that is just that good and you alluded to it late in the game mm -hmm. had Eldon played this well against the Tipton team they had Thursday night I mean they would have rolled over that they team won a big. because the way Eldon played they would have ran with everybody they played this year up until Fulton and sometimes you rise to the they rise to the level of your competition and for Eldon they certainly did that as we look at tonight leading scorers. Chris, what do you have for us? Aiden Wells, 30 points for wow. Eldon. I mean, he was he was greatness. Uh, but he got a lot of help tonight, unlike the other night against Tipton, where there were only like three guys that scored. Yeah. So uh, you had 12 points from Hunter Hess, 
who really started to pick it up tonight. You had six from uh, Austin Rush, three from Reynolds, five from uh, Wardenberg, who was back. He's yep. been missing a lot of time. And Kyler Rush had uh, two as well. But you had ten guys scoring for this Fulton team. Ten guys scored. Uh, and so you had guys like uh, Reams, our post-game player of the game, with 25. And he didn't even play in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he didn't need to. You know, I asked him, how far can this team go? He said, state championship. I mean, they really believe that. And rightfully so. Yeah, absolutely. You have uh, young Goring, Walker Goring, who scored 20. Most of those from three-point range. You saw his younger brother come in in the final minutes of the fourth quarter and hit a three. Uh, so, uh, you know, you got a, a lot of good young talent. Lancaster had 10. Uh, A.J. Henderson had nine. And again, there were 10 of these uh, Fulton Hornets that scored. So, they, you know, even... Even their starters could sit down. They could win a lot of games with their second five. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive, and hats off to head coach Justin Gilmore in his sixth season. And as we told you back in 2018, it was the first time in 31 years that program had won a conference title. And last year, they were runner uh, up in the districts, and so they, they have a, a lot of aspirations for this season, and rightfully so. Yep. Now back to the hometown Eldon Mustangs, and third game we've had them this year, and third game they've lost, but every time that we have one of their broadcasts, it seems like they're getting closer and closer to getting over that hump, and tonight I think they have to be very encouraged yeah. by when you look at the stats that matter outside the score, which is of course the ultimate. Uh, things like effort and rebounding when I look at some of the big ones, uh, as far as Eldon trailed at the half by 22 points, the final score was only a 29-point victory, meaning the second half, they were able to keep it within a seven-point game. That's a victory. Um, they were only a negative four in the turnover margin for the entire game. For Eldon against a team like that, that's a victory. Only a negative two in the offensive rebound category. You know, and you would think uh, with, with a young Eldon team like this, and I talked with Coach Corey Casey before the game, and, and he said, you know, we've just been losing a lot of close games lately. Now, tonight wasn't close because they played a juggernaut team. But, you know, they lost a tough one at Lebanon. They lost a tough one against Tipton that they could have won. Yeah. And so they're, they've been getting close. They've been playing better and better. And at some point, something's going to click, and They've started to get their guys back now, and they're going to start winning these games. Yeah. They're going to be tough to beat uh, come district tournament time. Yeah, and I think tonight that might have been that coming out party we've been waiting for, especially for the freshman Hunter Hess, who saw his best out uh, offensive performance. You know, and I think Nathan Reynolds is going to be a kid that's going to continue too. to come on for Coach Corey Casey's team. As for the Mustangs, they fall on the season to 3-11. and 11. They're going to be right back here tomorrow night against Hallsville, mm. a good Hallsville team, 7-4 and four, do the Indians come in tomorrow night. And then, of course, next week is the annual Eldon Tournament for them, and that's one of the most historic tournaments in the state of Missouri. Been going on, you said, almost 90 years. I think I 90 think. years, yeah. Should have talked to my buddy, the Hall of Famer, Mike Bissell, with KS95, or Tom Collins with the Eldon Advertiser. They could have told us that, but it's been a lot of years. That's what they've got. As for the Fulton Hornets, I'm going to be interested to follow this team, of course, mm -hmm. from a distance, not being one of our hometown teens, but they're going to play home Friday against Marshall, and so we'll be looking forward to seeing what Fulton does. We need to tell them about a new show we're doing. Yeah, we are going to tell them about the new show we're doing, but before we do that, I want to look ahead to upcoming basketball games on Lake TV right here. Okay. Of course, Friday we got a big Tri-County Conference matchup with California in Versailles. Then a week later, uh, actually two weeks later, we'll have a little break there. Nice then, little break. Then we're going to start covering the Osage Indians down the home stretch as they'll play at Versailles. Conway at Osage, Eldon at Osage, Versailles and Eldon, and we'll end our regular season. Unless we got something special hey, up we're, our we're sleeves, thinking about which something. we might. We don't yeah. want to drop a bomb on you. <laughs> but that is our upcoming broadcast schedule, of course, as always. Uh, the COMC pregame show, every game approximately 15 minutes prior to tip-off. All right, Chris, take it away. Tell okay. them about the new show so you want to tell We've them. got a whole lot of new shows going, right? We've got lot. the Lake TV Community Spotlight Show. So like business leaders, community leaders come in, they talk to us, we talk to them for 15 minutes so that... Local activities directors from this school, yeah, all the schools. From all the local schools, so they tell us what's going on with all the sports and the bands and stuff like that. So you can watch that on Lake TV every single day. New guests every week. That's one of the new shows. Another new show 
It's a cup of coffee with Will and Chris, right? Going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Slumberland Studios is actually building a whole new studio just for us to do the show. So we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. It's going to be uh, awesome. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of sports talk about. A lot of sports talk, a lot of... Yeah goofing around a lot of fun hot topics and of course uh that's going to be from the slumberland studios inside their impressive showroom right there off the parkway in osage beach and that's going to be debuting the first week in february mm -hmm. so get ready that will debut on tuesday at 9 a.m february 2nd, 2nd. so yeah. we are looking really forward to bringing that as for chris and i we do want to give a shout out to our crew of course our switcher and our director of photography andrew evans our ground camera operator the great tony williams a new addition to our crew this year but we're loving having tony on our team our chief engineer running the replay machine and putting those highlight packages together he is good at it that's our man ricky smith our digital media specialist running the top angle camera is Megan Alpers. Our on-screen art director is Anne Marie Holtz. As for this guy, that's Lake TV General Manager Chris Schneider, the great Chris Schneider. I'm William Holtz. Until next time, my friends, it is dinner time and mama and baby are ready for a kiss. So for Chris and I, we're signing off. <laughs>